Hey viewers, this is E36 Fanatics, and today I'm, I'm going to do a job on my BMW E36 323i. Uh, I'm going to just change the differential fluid, which is right under here. It's pretty easy to do, pretty quick, um, but it can extend the life of your differential quite a bit uh, and make it, make it last longer. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward job, but there is an issue or two with doing this. So the first and biggest issue, so you go to the store and pick up your socket, which it's a 14 millimeter hex socket to fit both of these. And you go back to the car and you try it out on the bolts and then you put it on the top one and Turns out there's not enough room. There's not enough room at all to even get a swivel up here because this is blocking it. So what you have to do, what I did, is I take the 14 inch, he 14 inch hex. Of course, this is only if you can't find a short one. Uh, some of the stores, some of the stores, you can order the short 14 millimeter hex socket from them but most of them you can't or it's going to take a few days and I don't have time to sit around and wait for a short hex to come in so what I did is I just took a 14 millimeter monkey just took a 14 millimeter monkey wrench and just put it on the end of this of the socket and fit it in as far as I could and turned it and you can see it's coming loose now so first thing you do with changing the fluid is you want to actually change oh, you want to open up the fill first which is the top one this is because you want to make sure that you can get this one open before you open the uh, open the empty one the release uh, bolt this is the release one right here and also because you let some of the air out of the system when you open this up that's been sitting in there and you want to do that before you release everything. So I've already gotten this loosened. I'm going to go ahead and get my pan prepared. Uh, it's just a regular black pan that I use for oil. And then I'll go ahead and release the old differential fluid. Okay, so like I said, I did the same, I'm doing the same thing with this bottom bolt. I got the hex, the socket on, and I just put the monkey wrench in it and turn. And you got to put a lot of force on this because it's pretty, it's torqued pretty high. And my monkey wrench isn't that, isn't that tough in the first place, but it worked for both, both of these two sock bolts. And here's the first one. And as you can see, it's a short little stubby bolt, but it's it's torqued really, it's torqued pretty good. So, got this loose. I uh, got my pan about to release it, and it's going to dump out oil. Okay, so at the moment it's still pouring out differential fluid, but here you can kind of, you can see the difference between the new and the old. Here's the older stuff. And it's turned kind of a murky brown color. Then here's the new stuff, and it's like a light yellow color uh, to almost clear, really. And before I bought this stuff, I talked to a couple of people about what was the best, really, for BMW E36s. And I actually called the German dealership, BMW dealership. And it seems like they recommend 75W140 now. Uh, they used to, in previous years, recommend 75W90, but they recommend 140 currently. And uh, it's supposed to be really good stuff. A lot of people like using Royal Purple as the brand, or uh, Red Label, I think it's called, Red but line. Red Line. But uh, I, I just got Mobile One. It's a little bit cheaper. Okay, so what I've been using for this is I bought a little pump from uh, from Harbor Freight and 
basically it was like five bucks and it's got two hoses and you just pump it and so one side you use to pump from the uh, the gear fluid and then the other side you use it to pump into the top hole right here now of course you leave this top hole open when you're filling it and close go ahead and seal this one and you just pump it and basically you it, it's it measures out to be about 1.8 quarts but usually you spill a little bit so what I usually do is you just fill it until it starts dribbling out and that'll be that'll be 1.8 quarts basically just about 1.8 quarts or a little more but it's just around there so what I do is I just wait until it starts dribbling out and then you've hit you've hit the magic number of about 1.8 and then you just seal, close this up real quick at the top and go ahead and tighten it up and you're done here.